The 2021 indoor season has finally come to an end, and after three and a half months of extraordinary competitions, it is obvious that this year's Olympic Games will be unforgettable. Over the course of just 100 days, many athletes from around the world blew our minds with a huge amount of record-breaking performances. From Grant Holloway's new 60-meter hurdles world record, to Elliot Giles' number two all-time performance in the 800 meters, all the way up to the Oregon men crushing the indoor mile, this early season track and field campaign was certainly one of the greatest ever. Whether this was due to the lack of competitions last season, the new emerging technologies of Nike running products, or just the explosion of novel talents across the global landscape, one thing is for sure, earning a medal in any distance event this summer will be a lifetime achievement. Now, we've already discussed a few events that will be very exciting in this summer's Olympics. In the men's marathon, the GOAT Elliot Kipchoge is looking to defend his marathon title, but he will have tremendous competition, as a total of 62 athletes have broken two hours and six minutes since 2017. Additionally, in the men's 10,000, Mo Farah looks to become the first athlete to ever win this event in three straight Olympic Games, but standing in his way is the new world record holder and one of the most talented athletes in recent memory, Joshua Cheptegei. Indeed, the hype around these events is growing at a very quick pace, but another event that is rapidly unfolding as a potential legendary moment is the men's 1500 meters. In order to bring home the gold medal in this event, an athlete will have to take down a ridiculously talented field. And when I say talented, I'm not just talking about three or four great runners, we're talking about well over 10 separate athletes with tremendous times. These runners include Jake Whiteman, Josh Kerr, Stuart McSwain, Matthew Centrowitz, Cole Hawker, Cooper Tier, Marcin Lewandowski, Oliver Orr, and also, from my personal perspective, the two heavy favorites for this event, Jakob Ingebrigtsen from Norway and Timothy Chariot from Kenya. Now, before we dive into the epic matchup that is Ingebrigtsen versus Chariot, let's take a look at the amazing competition from around the world. These athletes have all run tremendously quick times over the previous few years, and all of them have proven to be very intelligent when it comes to racing tactics. From Lewandowski's undeniable championship abilities, to Oliver Orr's new top 10 indoor 1500 meter ranking, to the always dangerous and deadly finishes from Josh Kerr, Jake Whiteman, Matthew Centrowitz, and the new sprinting sensation Cole Hawker, the prospects of all of these athletes meeting in this year's Olympic finals is insane. Each of these runners have proven tremendous potential over the previous few seasons, but again, the two clear favorites have to be Jakob Ingebrigtsen and Timothy Chariot. Based on his last two racing seasons, Timothy Chariot from Kenya simply has to be the favorite. In 2019, he won the World Championships, leading from the gun. This kind of racing strategy rarely works out in World Championship racing, but even through a high-risk tactic such as this, he was still absolutely untouchable, winning these Doha World Finals by more than two seconds. Moving into 2020, he only continued his greatness with an undefeated 1500 meter racing season, and on August 14th, on the lightning fast track in Monaco, he ran the fastest time in the world for 2020 in three minutes 28.45 seconds. In addition to his 1500 meter dominance, he also has a 143 800 meter best to his name, a personal record that showcases amazing sprinting abilities. The chances that Chariot will bring home the gold medal this summer are actually quite high, but if there is one athlete who could potentially upset this favorite, it's the Norwegian prodigy Jakob Ingebrigtsen. In 2020, he put together one of the most unique and groundbreaking seasons in racing history. In the 1500, the 2000, and in the 3000 meters, this 19-year-old completed three separate all-time top 10 performances, making him one of the few athletes to ever achieve such a task. In addition to these top 10 times, he also broke the Norwegian 5K record, running a massive negative split to finish in 13 minutes and 28 seconds. Indeed, the 2020 season placed Jakob firmly in the competitive distance running conversation, but moving into 2021, it was clear that he was still improving. Over the course of just one month, 
He won both the 1500 and the 3000 meters in the European Indoor Championships. However, his greatest indoor moment came on February 9th, when he absolutely obliterated a world-class field, winning this 1500 meter race in a new European record time of 3 minutes 31.80 seconds, a time that ranks him number 5 on the all-time indoor list. Throughout the entire history of the Olympic 1500, no Norwegian athlete has ever won this Olympic crown. In fact, no athlete from Norway has ever won a single Olympic medal in this event. For the previous few seasons, we've seen Jakob grow from a promising young prodigy to a global running superstar. Therefore, competing at the highest levels will be nothing new. However, the Olympic finals, the highest possible moment for any runner, will certainly present a true test of his running fortitude. If Jakob can win this summer's Olympic gold medal, he will become one of only two athletes ever under the age of 21 to win this crown. But taking home this title will not only require exceptional racing, but it will also require extraordinary fitness and very likely a brutal finishing kick. And now I'll pass the question off to you. Who do you think will win the Olympic finals in the 1500 meters this year? Will it be Timothy Chariot? Will it be Jakob Ingebrigtsen? Or will it be another athlete, such as Jake Whiteman, Stuart McSwain, or perhaps the new kicking beast, Cole Hawker? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.